The best PC controllers offer significantly different functionality than what you would typically get from a gaming keyboard or gaming mouse. While the latter is preferable for genres like first-person shooters and real-time strategy, sometimes kicking back with a gamepad feels more natural and comfortable. Whether you're opting for a PC controller through preference or budgetary needs, we're here to help you make the most informed purchase possible. To help you find the right model, we've listed the top 6 PC gaming controllers and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and comparison tool on our website, validconsumer.com. Number 6. DualSense Wireless Controller The DualSense is a truly excellent PS5 controller. However, its leading functionality also extends to the PC, too. While you need to be plugged in via USB to utilize haptic feedback and adaptive triggers, it's well worth it for the level of immersion that these features add to those games which support them. This includes titles such as The Last of Us Part 1, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, and Returnal with more on the way as the console generation continues. As a PC controller, the DualSense will be immediately familiar to anyone who's more used to a symmetric layout as opposed to the Xbox asymmetric sticks, as they're both inline. What's more, you're also getting the touchpad which can be used in supported titles for added functionality. It's incredibly easy to use on the PC, whether plugged in or via Bluetooth, thanks to Steam's Big Picture Mode and the custom controller mapping you can do for the layout, meaning the days of needing a DualShock 4 driver are thankfully a thing of the past. With its starting price at $69.99 and with 8 different colors and styles available, the DualSense is a competitively priced PC controller that offers a lot more than many premium offerings. While the support may not be quite as widespread, you're benefiting from immersion you just won't get anywhere else. Number 5. Victrix Pro BFG Wireless Controller Are you tired of hearing that folks who use a controller can't keep up with the raw power of a mouse and keyboard? Because with the Victrix Pro BFG in your hands, that might not be so plain and simple anymore. This controller is designed with elite performance in mind, and thanks to its amazing modular design, you can tailor it to your exact preferences thanks to the suite of attachments that come in the case. Among them is a taller analog stick for precision aiming, multiple D-pad choices, stick gates, and a fight pad module that gives you six face buttons. Like the Thrustmaster eSwap X Pro, the modules can also be flipped around so the sticks are symmetrical. Besides being comically stripped back, the controller feels pretty lightweight in the hands and has absolutely no rumble or haptic feedback. This is a controller that's bred for getting the best performances out of you in whatever game you play. It has four back buttons that are as comfortable as they are useful, as well as a clever tournament lock mode that stops you from pressing the system buttons during competition, which could result in disqualification. During tests, there wasn't a single game we could throw it at and not have a good time with. Although it's got official PlayStation licensing, it works for PC as well. In terms of value for money, this is absolutely one of the best controllers to hit the shelves in recent years, especially when you consider that it's cheaper than its competition in the PS5 controller arena. Number 4. Razer Wolverine V2 Chroma the Razer Wolverine V2 Chroma is a slick wired controller with exceptional capabilities, and you can take advantage of that consistent power supply. That's because this gamepad offers Razer's signature RGB lighting subtly along the edge of the gamepad, letting you add some flair to your gameplay without becoming overly distracting. Those lights can even respond to information coming in from certain games, or you have plenty of other effects to really express yourself. RGB lighting aside, the Wolverine V2 Chroma is one beast of a gamepad, featuring Razer's mecha tactile switches for the action buttons and D-pad, so you won't get a squishy feel from the controls. The responsive sticks come with swappable caps, while four buttons on the underside, a pair of extra shoulder buttons, and hair trigger locks provide ample flexibility in how you play. And the controller is built for Xbox, so most will appreciate its familiar layout. Number 3. Thrustmaster eSwap X Pro 
The Thrustmaster eSwap X Pro is the best PC controller on the market right now. From its solid feel in the hand to its massive array of customization options, from its speed and response times to its endless supply of extra buttons, there's something special about this gamepad. We particularly enjoyed the accessibility options baked into this modular design in our own testing. That goes hand in hand with the build quality, being a larger than average gamepad with a suitably heavier, more substantial feel. We did notice that this extra weight makes the whole controller feel a little front heavy, but it never influenced comfort or the ability to reach any of the buttons. Similar to the Razer Wolverine line, it's wired, but this approach means that there's zero latency in the response time, perfect for those gaming sessions where milliseconds matter. Plus, we appreciated the ability to circumvent Microsoft's wireless connections when hooking the eSwap X Pro up to a console. It's in the surplus of extra buttons, including the phenomenal feeling triggers and the four on the face, that elevate this controller above its similarly priced competition. There are many customization options due to the modular components, and we found it easy to adjust the controller as needed when switching games. It also means you're able to choose between a symmetrical or asymmetrical style, depending on what you prefer. If you've been waiting on a great-feeling modular controller that finally allows you to swap the positions of the D-pad and left analog stick at will, as well as offering customization and extra inputs, then this is the one. The Thrustmaster eSwap X Pro will see you through every genre comfortably and quickly, making it the go-to for the best PC controller available right now. Number 2. Scuff Instinct Pro Scuff doesn't mess around with its controllers, offering some of the best premium pads outside of Sony and Microsoft, and the Instinct Pro is the absolute best Microsoft-focused pad controller should you wish to eschew the two big boys of the console world. But when the Elite Series 2 exists in the world, how does anyone else compete in the enthusiast controller space? There are more customization options on offer with the Instinct Pro than with pretty much any other pad you could name. Scuff is offering a huge variety of different cosmetic and physical customization options from the initial store page. The faceplate options and the rings around the thumbsticks are the most obvious, but you also get to pick your choice of actual thumbsticks in terms of length and topper, convex or concave. There are also options to change the D-pad, button facades, as well as the styling of both the bumpers and the triggers. Interestingly, there's also the option to remove the rumble motors from inside the controller, which is something you often find the pros end up removing from their tournament controllers, to cut down on the inherent distraction of hand wobble. Though that will definitely impact the price. With my own choices, I managed to bump the cost up to just shy of $250, but I did create a gloriously pink pad without the distraction of rumble packs. Scuff has at least acknowledged there's little point in trying to one-up Microsoft when it comes to the overall design of the Instinct Pro, because it looks physically identical to a standard Xbox Series X slash S controller. Obviously, aside from the faceplate, rings, and mute button on the front. The thumbsticks are reassuringly solid and responsive during a gaming session. Hammering the sticks with quick switches of direction in a Twitch game haven't had an impact on the pad, and they still feel smooth and accurate when you're in something less fast-paced. The triggers have a pleasing action too, maybe not quite so deep as the Elite, but still just as accurate. The rest of the button feel is robust and reassuringly clicky too, though I would say the hair trigger mode feels a little too shallow for my taste. I can see why some folks might prefer it, so I'm not going to count that as anything more than a personal choice, not a negative. The Scuff Instinct Pro requires AA batteries like standard Xbox pads, unlike the Elite, which houses a lithium-ion battery. The ability to swap in a fresh pair of batteries mid-tournament is potentially a selling point, and lithium-ion batteries are meant to have a finite shelf life, though it's not something I've ever experienced with my Elite pad in the past few years of use. Either way, it's a fantastic controller that feels great in the hand and is as responsive as you could wish for. It's just painfully pricey with all my chosen greebles. Number 1. Xbox Elite Series 2 The Xbox Elite Series 2 and the cheaper Xbox Elite Series 2 Core both build upon the best parts of the Xbox wireless controller. You have the same button layout but a whole lot more customization options like a more traditional D-pad you can swap out on the fly and four rear paddles. 
Microsoft also lets you adjust the tension of the controller's analog sticks as well as the triggers. You won't need batteries with the Xbox Elite Series 2 either, as it comes with a rechargeable battery that lasts for up to 40 hours, and the included carrying case doubles as a charger. If price is holding you back from picking up an Xbox Elite Series 2 controller, then you're in luck, as Microsoft released a cheaper version that comes in several different colorways, called the Xbox Elite Series 2 Core. The catch is that it doesn't come with any accessories like extra joysticks, rear paddles, or the carrying case. However, you can easily fix the back paddle situation with a $12 accessory, which I highly recommend as having four back paddles means that you won't have to take your thumbs off the controller's joysticks since you can map all the face buttons to them. The Xbox Elite Series 2 is the best option for those that want one of the best PC game controllers, but the Xbox Elite Series 2 is a better choice for those on a budget who still want a pro controller. In conclusion, the world of PC controllers is vast and varied, catering to all kinds of gamers with different needs and preferences. Whether you prioritize aesthetics, customization, performance, or a blend of all three, there's a controller out there that's perfect for you. Remember, it's not just about the hardware, but how it enhances your gaming experience. Don't forget to check the links below for more detailed insights and current pricing. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up share with fellow gamers, and subscribe for more in-depth reviews. As always, thanks for watching, and may your gaming sessions be ever enjoyable and immersive. Until next time,